Well, this is the last thing you want to hear if you plan on heading north on Interstate 75 tomorrow. One of the two lanes will be closed. Hundreds of drivers caught up in the backup earlier tonight when both lanes were shut down due to an accident there. This was the view from Eagle 8 HD. Now, News Channel's Josh Benson is joining us live with a reason for this headache and specifically where it's located. Josh. That's right. It was a big crane, Keith. This afternoon, a tractor trailer pulling a crane actually tried to squeak under that overpass. Didn't make it. It was too tall and it damaged the overpass. But there's good news tonight. If you look up top, there's one lane of I-75 northbound open. And just within the last two minutes, I'm not joking, this lane right here of westbound uh, State Road 50 just opened up. Scott Champ is making a rocket run from Tallahassee to South Florida and made an unscheduled stop for gas. As I'm talking to you, I just found out, <laughs> and I'm not happy about it. It's going to take me out of my way. Dustin Tompkins is lucky he even made it to this gas station. I thought, oh no. <laughs> I, uh, I was about to uh, run out of gas. It's all thanks to this, damage to the I-75 northbound overpass on westbound State Road 50. About 4.30 Tuesday afternoon, a tractor trailer pulling a crane, well, didn't fit. The good news, no one was hurt. The bad news, we are here. It's just a little get together at the gas station. For hours, traffic was rerouted using both roadways, much like a roundabout, and adding a roundabout an extra 30 to 40 minutes for commutes. We were already on the road or we wouldn't have taken this route. Yeah, I'm surprised that I'm going to have to go miles out of my way to get back to where I want to go, so it's kind of surprising that anybody would drive into a bridge. Florida Highway Patrol estimated at least 24 hours for delays initially, but about 9 o'clock, some hope. One lane of I-75 reopened. A traffic tie-up some took in stride. Really doesn't matter because uh, we're going to Texas. Our son's in boot camp and he graduates on Friday. Well, big congratulations to them. But these crews, they were able to contain the work to one lane, so that's very important. Like I said, the inside lane of I-75 is open, and just a few minutes ago, this westbound lane of State Road 50 is now open as well, so not nearly as bad as it was earlier tonight. Not as bad as it could be, but still tomorrow's a holiday on I-75. It's going to be busy, no doubt about it. That is for sure. There is a big celebration for Veterans Day in Bushnell, so a lot of people like to take I-75 straight up there. It may be backed up. That's a warning, so be sure you add extra time to that commute because you could get backed up at this intersection. But again, one lane on each road opened up tonight. Kind of exercise the patience for sure. Thank you, Josh Benson, live in Hernando County.